Hey, what's up? This is Mitch Klein and welcome to the first video of the new year. In this video, I will be talking about FL Studio's most iconic plugins, the Sound Goodizer. On Facebook groups and forums, I see a lot of people make fun of it. Uh, like when people are asking, how can I make my mix sound better? Uh, the answer is always like use so eight Sound Goodizers and it will sound great. But what is actually behind the Sound Goodizer? Um, it's like a one magic knob that makes your sound sound better. But can you actually tweak the parameters beneath it? Or is it just a one knob and that's it? In this video, we're going to find out. I'm using an unmastered track for this example. This is how it sounds. And now we're going to open up the sound goodizer. And you'll see that it's one knob that you can tweak. And there are four different presets, A, B, C, and D. And it's just really simple. Uh, play the sound that you want to goodize and tweak the knob. And you can hear what, what a difference it makes. Uh, so this is the A preset. Then we have also B, C and D. This one keeps it more balanced in my opinion. Then we have C. This sounds a bit over compressed. Then the last one, D. Sounds also pretty balanced, but just boosted. All right, so these were the four presets. And if you want to parallel process a certain signal, uh, you can just add a little bit of the sound codizer to it. So now 50% of the signal is coming from the sound codizer, so the processed signal, and 50% is the original dry signal. So let's say you like this preset, but you think it's just too much. Uh, what we can do is open up Maximus. And if you go to the presets folder, you can see sound codizer presets, A, B, C, and D. Now we're going to listen to the difference, if there's any. So A sounds the same. B as well. And of course, D as well. So just to prove that these correspond with this one. Uh, you don't have to have the sound codizer open because this works on its own. But now we can dive more into the technical aspect of what the sound codizer actually does. So let's say we go back to A, which was pretty boosted in the low end. Now you can see actually what's going on. So if you look at the low, you can actually see that the pre-gain has been raised by five decibels and the post-gain 
by 5.6 decibels. The mid pre-gain is raised by 6.4, then the post none, and the high is raised by almost 7, and the post by almost 3. And on the master, they're just on 50%. So let's say we think the low is a bit too much. Now we can just decrease it. Until we find a good spot. So I think this sounds a lot better already. And over here you can see the stereo separation. Uh, this is the same as the knob right here. If you put it all the way to the right, it's completely mono. If you put it to the left, uh, there's more stereo separation. So that knob is also in here. So you can choose to make the high more separated. All right, and then over here, an important thing is the LMH mix button. And this is actually this knob right here. So if you go to the original preset, so the sound good eyes sounds like this. Maximus sounds like this. So if you put the sound good eyes to 50%, Sounds like this. And if we put the LMH mix to 50%, it sounds exactly the same. So if you want to have more control over the sound goodizer, then you can just open up Maximus and use the LMH mix and then you can tweak the low, mid and highs to your likings. Now I'm going to quickly show what the actual presets do. So as mentioned, presets A boost the low a lot. Some of the mid and some of the highs, but especially the low is really up front. On preset B, you can see that the compressors of the individual bands have been turned off right here. Only the gain, the post gain is uh, boosted a little bit on all the frequencies. And in the master, the threshold is put a little bit more down. Preset C, you can see the bands right here. All bands have the compressor on and the low is really boosted a lot. The mids even more by 12.7 de decibels and the high by 11.3 decibels. Here you can see the levels of the pre-gain. So you can see that the mid is boosted the most. Then the last one, D. D consists of only one band because the low is turned off, the high is turned off, and the mid is turned on. And is heavily boosted right here with 14 decibels.
so D is actually just a boost in gain. So if you have been using Sound Goodizer and you wanted to have the option to tweak certain settings, this is a way to do it and I hope it was helpful to you and I hope to see you in another video. Bye bye.